Is Cara Delevingne in Star Wars? Maybe. I'm R2-D2, okay. Before Cara Delevingne co-starred in 2016 film Suicide Squad as the role of Enchantress. Before she left the modeling industry to focus on her acting after her breakthrough role in the 2015 Paper Towns. There's gonna come a time in your life where you're gonna think, what do I regret more? Removing Chuck's eyebrow or not removing Chuck's eyebrow. Before she came out as bisexual in a Vogue interview discussing her relationship with artist Annie Clark, also known by the stage name Saint Vincent. Before she designed and sold a feminist sweatshirt and was accused of ripping off the designs by LA based clothing company Other Wild. Because I just didn't feel like there were many like strong superhero type like women. Born in 1992 to a life of wealth in Hammersmith, London, Cara Jocelyn Delevingne had all the opportunities and luck that a young girl could ever ask for. However, by the time she started school, she was diagnosed with a neurological impairment called dyspraxia and later on developed a deep depression that sent her through a cycle of therapists and medication. Eventually she dropped out of school to pursue a career in modeling and was discovered by the CEO of Burberry. Modeling was a success for her but not the job she had dreamed of and it caused her a lot of stress. So she decided to pursue a career in acting. Hi everyone, I'm Azzy, documenting the life of Cara Delevingne prior to fame. Here for you on Before They're Famous. As always, let us know in the comment section down below, who do you want to see next? Born in Hammersmith, London on August 12, 1992, Cara Jocelyn Delevingne was no stranger to upper class life. Her mother was a social beauty Pandora Ann Stevens, and her father was a property developer Charles Hamar Delevingne. And the family's success doesn't stop there. She comes from a long line of executives, politicians, and even has a famous actress godmother, Joanne Collins. She was raised in Belgravia, which is one of the richest districts in the world. You could say that she has grown used to a certain type of lifestyle. I remember going to like nude beaches a lot when I was younger. I found that really weird actually now, looking back on it. Why do people, why do men on nudist beaches always have the smallest penises? Kara has two older sisters, one named Chloe, who's a doctor in training, and the other named Poppy, who also entered the modeling industry. Her family was all about the high class life of parties and horse racing, something Kara could never really get into, because getting into all that fun rich people stuff is so hard. Despite having it all, the road wasn't totally smooth for Kara. She attended Francis Holland's school for girls in London as a child. While in school, she was diagnosed with dyspraxia, a neurological disorder that affects movement coordination. Because of this, school was incredibly difficult for Kara. While her sisters excelled, she was left in their dust. And in one too many psychologist chairs. She was the worst patient ever too. She literally tried to get every psychologist she saw to fire her as a patient. At the age of 9, she was told she had the reading abilities of a 16 year old. But at 16, after years of the disorder, she was told that she had the reading ability of a 9 year old. I don't know, I, I just, everyone's like, how, how can you cope? And I'm like, I don't know if I am coping. Not only was she dealing with her disorder, but her mother was a relapsing heroin addict. She had to grow up before her age and become a parent to her mother. And this did not help the depression that she was beginning to sink into. Just because they lived behind a white picket fence doesn't mean that their life was perfect. I was completely suicidal didn't want to live anymore. After her time at Francis Holland, her parents sent her to Bedales, a posh boarding school that focused on the arts. There she immersed herself in music and acting, but the depression and anxiety hit an all time low. Sometimes she would even bang her head up against a tree to try to knock herself out, just to escape for a little while. She was placed on a variety of different medications and even began self medicating by smoking weed. Eventually though, she dropped out of school promising her parents that she would find a job. In 2009, her best friend Genevieve Garner's mother Sarah Dukes offered her a contract with store management. She was the scout that had originally discovered Kate Moss. But just because Kara had an in didn't make it any easier. She worked for a year before landing an actual paying job and made it through two casting seasons without a single runway job. While working in an office of a fashion website, she was discovered by Burberry CEO Christopher Bailey and he gave her the launch into stardom that she had been waiting and fighting for. Her first catwalk appearance was in 2011. London Fashion Week, where she modeled the Burberry Autumn and Winter Collection. Later that year, in September, she got the chance to open and close the show as she modeled the 2012 Spring Collection. From then on, the modeling jobs just poured and poured in, including gigs for Chanel, Dolce Gabbana, and Oscar de la Renta. She picked up a role in 2012 in the film Anna Karenina. 
and decided that acting was really what she wanted to do. The 23-year-old Brit, who makes about 10 grand a day modeling, wants to walk away for acting. Modeling had really taken a toll on her and made her hate her body. She even developed psoriasis, which is a rash-like skin condition that gets worse with stress. She kept on acting and in 2015 she co-starred in the movie Paper Towns as the role of Margot Ross Spielman. Um, I feel like my job in the film was to make you feel empathy for Margot in the end, so if you didn't then I didn't do my job properly. The movie ranked number 6 in the box office and pulled in 12 million dollars on the opening weekend. And the rest of the story? Well you guys all know the story because this is before they're famous. Awesome guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out some of the other videos on this channel, hit like, subscribe and I love you guys all, bye!